Hello, Glamazons. Am I wearing my fro today or what? Yes, for the Black is Beautiful movement of the 2010s. <laughs> This is the Glamour Gladiator right back coming at you. Today I am going to discuss how to create a spa experience in your home. While it is important that you get out to the spa, it is more important what you do in between your spa appointments. And one of the best things you can do for yourself is to recreate the spa experience in your own home because at home is where everything counts. And people often ask me, oh, Tama, how do you get such glowing, lovely skin? Let's take a minute to admire the shoulders, even sparkling, darling, the eyelashes. Even though they have nothing on them, they are spectacularly sheened because they have jojoba oil on them. Pure, natural, organic. So every part of you needs to be taken care of. I've been taking care of myself and spying for a very long time. And I'm sorry, but it takes commitment, dedication. It takes being committed to a regular routine for your skincare and for your health. And you got to love soap and water. Nothing does it better than water. Water is the cleansing, the purifier, the end all be all. So we got to get in there, practice great hygiene, get in the tub, get in the shower, or as I like to call it, the rainforest remade. Um, every day. Like clockwork has to be a religious practice and then you add those bonuses in which we're going to talk about today and I'm going to give you some quick reviews on some products. So here is the magical magical place where your home spa begins. It is the bathtub. Yep, the bathtub. So first thing you want to do is make sure you're getting into a clean space. And that your body is clean. So you want to cleanse yourself before you begin to use any products. And that way the products can seep into the skin and it goes onto a nice clean canvas called your skin, the largest organ. So I usually begin with these babies here. This is from the Body Shop. It is a long loofah. It is great for your back. You just hold it at opposite ends and get to scrubbing. It's great for even those hard to get areas. It's really hard to exfoliate your back and this does the job for you. And then here's my favorite things from the Body Shop, exfoliation gloves. They're really kind of a harder glove. Hear that? That's great for um making sure you slough off those dead skin cells and then of course i have my baby washcloth which i did a review on how to use those for your gentle kitten areas and then my um body cloth and then i have my separate face cloth because i like to use different cloths for different areas of the body so we're practicing good hygiene all over then I have my body towel and my hair towel. So today I used my lovely, lovely Dove exfoliator. It just turns on and I usually like to um, use a cleanser with it, which I use Dove. My little soap dish is a little gunked up. And this is the white dove for sensitive skin because I am sensitive. And this is my facial soap, Ambi. So I put this on my face and let it sit and create a nice little space and foam. And then I use this puppy here to really get clean. And then I used the Alba Pineapple Enzyme Facial Scrub. Now this is great because it uses um, the alpha hydroxy acids from pineapples to gently exfoliate the skin. So I scrub, scrub, scrub all of the facial area and then move on to 
the Fresh Memoirs of a Geisha Flower Petal Face Mask. Now this was out many years ago and I just finished it today. I'm sad. But luckily I have its equivalent. Ha <laughs> ha! Fresh Rose Face Mask. I wanted this so bad I was like, let me buy the tester. Yes. So, um, now the thing about this is and this is that it um I'm glad they had this too because it was like before they tested it out, yes. So the thing about both of these products is that it burns when you put it on. They have giant bookkeeping size reviews on why and what's in it. And if you can stand it, I just kind of power through it. And after about 30 seconds to a minute, it stops and you end up with beautiful glowing skin like this. It pulls in and most importantly it soothes and i've been traveling as you probably know from black showgirl life tv which is another segment that i do outside of my vlogging life uh, or another sect of my blogging life or vlogging life oh, my fro it's fabulousness just has me messing up my words more like the greyhound but anyway um uh, oh, my fro wants to be free yes yeah, yes, you are free, little fro. But we're gonna put you back in place. Any hoodle, um, you get a nice glow. Rose is known for its healing properties of the skin. As we know, Cleopatra used rose in her baths. The Romans used roses. It's been known for a very long time to beautify and cleanse the skin. And look at all that for my hair. Yes, moisture. And then um, we have the Evian Brumisatur. This is one of the greatest things ever. It gives you a power punch in terms of moisture and re absolutely rehydrates the skin, re-moisturizes, it refreshes you, it tones you simply because it takes all of the minerals that are in Evian water and imparts it on your skin. So you can literally mineralize, mineralize right there in your home. You do not have to go to the Alps or the spa. I love you, Bliss, but sometimes I need to mineralize myself. And this is the perfect spray for you. It's also great for travel and those hot summer days when you need to just spritz yourself and get more refreshed. It's great. I love it. I've been using this for many, many years, which also helps um, to refresh and impart a glow. And then don't forget your little tubbies of duckies. What is a bath without your rubber duckies? What is a spa experience without a friend? And these little girls go with me. Yay. I got these from Bath and Body Works as part of their semi-annual. I grab this cookie, this gem. So whatever mood I'm in, I can just grab a little duck to go with the, my mood. I don't know why I put this in here backwards, but there's a bunch of these ducky gals. And then I can have fun. And be in there with my rubber ducky. And then there's the sea sponge, which you use to lather all of your products, or which I use it for. And that's just to get the water all over me before I soak. Now, I do keep this facial on for about 10 minutes and then I wash it off. You can leave it on longer, but due to my skin sensitivity and how it burns ever so slightly when you first put it on, I like to take it off um, kind of quickly. So this is how you recreate your spa experience. You can also um, light a candle, put flowers in the bathtub, or as you can see, I have flowers all over my bathroom to always make it a serene and beautiful place with Miss Marilyn reminding me of being a showgirl and what it takes and how to take care of your body and thus become an icon for the rest of existence of the humanity of man. So, 
that's how we create our spa today some quick reviews for you hit me up um my link for my blog is below and you guys and gals can comment i welcome comments please don't be negative i do not welcome trollers but if you have some things to discuss, some things you want me to talk about, please comment. Please put your links below. Unlike most people who are not into link sharing and link dropping, I am. If you need to get followed or you want to get liked or something like that, let me know. I'm all about support. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And let's support each other in our beautifications. All right, this is the Glamour Gladiator. I will see you next time, Glamazons. Fun and fashion.